dobar dan and dobrodošli on my cooking uh, channel. So today I'm making a collard soup. Collard soup is made out of the collard leaves, rustica, known in Croatia, that grows in the southern, mostly grows in the southern part of the Croatia, Dalmatia and Herzegovina. So we'll be uh, cutting this, um, preparing the leaves for the soup by removing the middle part, the stalks of the plant and then uh, we'll placing them in a little pile which we'll be using um, to make a tight roll and then cutting that into the tiny um, or noodle shape uh, strips. So you, that's how you prepare all your leaves which you plan to cook. If you don't grow it yourself or you don't have access to the, mostly there are sold at any grocery store. So this is how you're gonna cut. And so this soup is cooked with the smoked meat and smoked meat is um, well used in Croatia. Uh, lots of people or mostly all are preserving their own uh, smoked meat. So this is one of the meals that we use. So I don't preserve my own meat. I live in Canada and don't really have a place to do it. So I buy my own and I like to use this ham. Doesn't have a lot of fat and also doesn't have really a smoked uh, like taste. So it's quite mild. So we're starting the preparing for the soup by blanching the, um, the leaves. So what that means, you're pouring a hot water over the, the the leaves and let it sit for a few minutes in the water and then after that we'll be draining it um, and uh, pouring the cold or rinsing it with the cold water. So what does that mean? It preserves the color of the of the plant and also softening it and the leaves because normally this plant would be very tough to eat if you don't blanch it. So um, now we're starting preparing the um, thickening of the soup or zafrik, zaprška or rooks what it's called. Um, so we're browning the, the flour in the pot um, and a little bit of oil and so this is how you're just going to be cooking it until yeah, it browns it up a little bit. You just want to get a nice color. Um, you have to be stirring it constantly. You cannot let it go and, and sit because it will actually burn uh, very quickly. So you don't want to have it burn. So as long as you get a nice uh, golden color, then we'll add in a little bit of the sweet um, red pepper in a powder and then just mix it very quickly and add water because also the pepper will like to burn as well so we just want to just a little brown it a little bit or like heat it up the sorry for for the peppers but we're browning the flour so and then adding the the cold water and this is the start of your soup. So this is the base. It's a it's a thickening uh, part and also gives the taste to um, to the soups. So once you have that done and starting to boil, and you have a nice smooth uh, texture of the soup, um, then we'll be adding the uh, our prepared greens or rustica colored leaves and so just stir it in into the into the start base of the soup and just let it like simmer a little bit uh, absorb the uh, the flour so it's just all starting to combine each with each other it's always you're getting better taste if you're doing a slower process rather than putting everything in a pot and just covering with the water and so we cook this with the potatoes, which we have um, peeled and cut in bite-sized pieces. And also we'll be adding our ham, uh, which we also cut and cubed. Also you just wanna have a nice bite-sized pieces for all this, because it's, 
it's a soup and we're eating it with a spoon uh, so this is how it all looks like because you don't know uh, how salty your ham it is so we don't salt this soup uh, we we'll let it cook for a little bit and then I'll let the ham release uh, its own salt and then if you need it then we will add it more so you put as much as water as you need it and then you let it cook and then after um, at least half an hour 45 minutes of cooking this is how the, the soup is gonna start looking and you cook as long as the, um, you need it for potatoes to soften it up and this is your soup um, that's how it looks like technically you just eat it with some bread if you like or just like this if you maybe want a vegetarian version, then you just keep the meat. Enjoy, dobar tek, hvala što ste bili tu, thank you for watching.